Marx was also critical of the Christian roots of this utopian humanitarian socialism. He writes, nothing is easier than to give Christian asceticism a socialist tinge. Has not Christianity declaimed against private property, against marriage, against the state? Has it not preached in the place of these charity and poverty, celibacy and mortification of the flesh, monastic life and mother church? Christian socialism is but the holy water with which the priest consecrates the heart burnings of the aristocrat. And so Marx here is noting explicitly the Christian origin of a lot of the humanitarian reform in the um, utopian movements and later in progressivism as well. And is quite critical of this as being uh, essentially idealistic rather than focusing on materialism as essentially religious rather than scientific. And so Marx continuing in the um, Communist Manifesto specifically name checks Saint-Simon, Fourier, Fourier and Owen and other uh, utopians and says only from the point of view of being the most suffering class does the proletariat exist for them. In other words, they're focusing on the proletariat because the proletariat is seen as, as suffering. That's why they care about the working class. They don't care about the working class because they see them as uh, the natural agents of social change as Marx does in his system. He sees that there's an inevitability, the contradictions between uh, labor and capital must inevitably lead in a scientific way towards the collapse of the capitalist system and the emergence of socialism. But for, for Marx, he's arguing uh, these people are dreamers, they're humanitarians, they're religious. He says they dream of their social utopias of founding, founding isolated fall on stairs or phalanxes duodecimo editions of the New Jerusalem. Uh, they deaden the class struggle and seek to reconcile class antagonisms by improving and ameliorating the condition.